迷い込むのは背徳の理想郷夢もうつつも全ては歌方に消えてゆく「フェイトグランドオーダーエピック・オブ・レムネット」「アガルタの女」Hello, everyone. Welcome back for some more Fate Grand Order. Tamamo is on Raid Up, and you know what? She is a very high tier support character. Definitely someone who would be a good one for me to get. So I'm going to try my luck to summon Tamamo. And if I get some Tamo Cats or Fion McCools, sure. But let's start with our summon tickets first. We have seven. So we'll see what we get. There's also some craft essences here, which I kind of want.、Um, one of which, in particular, is this one, which is hilarious.、Um, shout outs to mom on Twitter saying it's terrifying, but I think it's hilarious looking. Okay. Let's see here. Hey! Nice! That's fast. We got the, the five star real fast. Mark on a smiling face. You're adorable. Who's that in the background? Oh, is that Cha Cha? It looks like Cha Cha. What does this do? Um, the feathered shuttlecock flies and makes a soft tapping noise as it's struck. The more synchronized, what does that have to do with this? Even if you miss, don't worry, the more markings on your face, the more smiles. This must be some Japanese thing about, like, badminton? Alright.、Uh, Noble Phantasm,、uh, that's not bad, actually. That's pretty decent for what is a. Mostly, a, you know, a, a card you just use for the grinding of the event, which I will do on the rerun. This looks like a servant. It's probably not anything amazing. It's a level 3 assassin. It's just, yeah, Kotaro. Okay. I should click them. Because, again, clicking tells you if it's new or not. Ooh, imaginary element. Very nice. That's、um, my second one of that. Haven't got one of those up to that point. A Visa Bron. And then we got, let's see, Romulus. Okay. I think these summon tickets are gonna come up a bit short. Okay, well, I mean, we got the five star. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we get. Okay, I'm gonna do the click. Okay. We got an Awakened Will. And Gander. And. Wow, just all the really bad, like all, all the craft essences you really don't want. Wow! Wow, it, that was just every single craft essence that you really don't want in a 10 roll. Amazing. Alright, let's see. Come on, baby. Ooh, before awakening, that's new. Another necromancy. Oh man. Another gander. Wow! Okay. Increase defense and quick and arts and buster. Wow, that is ridiculous. That is just like everything. My heart, I mean, it's only 8%, but my heart trembles at vice more than virtue and at corruption more than honesty. My soul is being shredded by my sins. Even if I am a servant of God, there's no salvation for me. During the fourth Holy Grail, Warren Fuyuki, the man searches for his answer with the numerous battles. Wow. Cool. All right. Okay. Come on. Let's get something good. Come on, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Ooh, that, that, that. Was that a delay? No, it wasn't. Okay. New Year's Mystique. Same hat. Same hat. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, we got two of this one at least. It's the one I wanted, the Modest Pig. Increase amount of QP earned by 2021. Oh. Interesting. It's also hilarious. A fragile pig destined to become ground meat and the kind hearted spider she befriended. Is it right to turn a cute pig into her sausage? Of course not. The spider suck decides to defy fate by rebelling against humanity. Suck the blood for the farmers, burn the shed down. Words are useless of scum like you are destined to die anyway. Like, what does it mean? I love it. Alright. I might, I might just put in five more bucks to get one more spin after this. Let's see. Come on. I'm gonna clicky click. Okay. Oh, nice. Is that the first time I got another ending? Yes, nice. Okay, I have that one IRL too from a Grand Order arcade. 
Another Awakened Will. Come on! Another Ideal Holy King. A lot of craft essences! Another Mark on a Smiling Face. Wow! Okay, let me get let me get a little bit more just so I can get one more roll. Okay, we'll get one more and we'll see what we get. This is it. This is for the big bucks before we move on. Come on, let's at least get one new servant, please. Oh, hello. I didn't click, though. I'm gonna click. Oh, that looked like a delay. Nope. There's, there's, there's a little delay when it's a servant always, so that's how you know, but... Darn it. Come on. Come on. Not today. Not today. Ah, well, at least there's always next time. Well, let's continue on with our story uh, in Agartha. I almost clicked on Salem. That'd be silly. We're not there yet. Right, we're at the Dragon Palace because we totally, like, fell into the ocean. We fell into the river and then I guess got swept into the ocean. So I, yo, oh, this is a place that's here, the Unpaintable Beauty. I wonder who will be, like, here. Yeah, yo, this is straight up Okami slash One Piece. I mean, it's a common thing in Japanese media, the Dragon Palace. Where am I? Oh, good, you're up, master. How are you feeling? Does it hurt anywhere? Oh, uh, it's a little headache. I think that's because you weren't getting any oxygen for a bit. <laughs> know what you do for injuries like this. Ouchies be gone, Pat Pat. Did that help? Yes. Yes, it did. Anyway, I'm glad you woke up so fast. My lap must be a super comfy pillow, huh? Nice. Yeah, no need to be embarrassed. My prayer is more likely to have had healing properties than your lap, Astolfo. Good morning, Master. I'm glad to see you weren't injured. Come on, another day awaits. Wait, Fergus, Tanner's not quite so durable as you are. We should first give him time to grasp the situation at hand. Can you stand, Tanner? You seem all right to me. Good. Can't have you dying on me just yet. Indeed, not dying is truly a wonderful thing. Let me just sit down a moment and collect myself. Where are we? What happened after everything? Our ship was destroyed in the aftermath of their battle, and we were all washed overboard, including you. Of course, we tried to pull you out of the water, but the river's current was kind of weird. I mean, it'd have to be, right? Normally, it'd be pretty easy for a servant to hop on in and bring their master back to shore. But instead, we were unable to fight back against the current and ended up here. And unfortunately, none of us is clear on where here is. Given the river's flow and the lay of the land, I believe we must be somewhere in the East Lake, but I'm afraid that's all I can say. I never would have guessed a place like this could exist here. I mean, a castle in the middle of a lake? There appears to be a dome of some sort surrounding this place, providing us with air. I imagine it's a form of magecraft. What a strange place this is. I'm not even sure what to call it. Underwater castle? Lake bottom castle? Yeah, it's gotta be the Dragon Palace! Oh, uh, hey, I remember that place. Didn't Tota tell us about it one time over rice with a side of rice? Oh, I just knew it from myself. I know of it too, it is a place that appears in an old Japanese tale. I think Tota said he'd been there too, once too, but uh, I don't know. Okay, the Dragon Palace it is. Now, anyway, see anything weird, Master? Hey, Master, you might want to take a look at that rock under your butt. Under my butt? What's under my butt? Oh. It's, it's not a rock, just a guy that looks like one. No need to worry, Tanner. He's not moving anymore. Since he'd been gravely wounded in our prior battle, the other berserker, uh, Penthesilia, right? Anyway, that must have given her enough of an advantage to come out on top. That said, the last time I saw her, she was covered in cuts and bruises, yet somehow he still doesn't have a scratch on him. It's odd that he's not disappeared yet, but instead appears to have simply ceased functioning. I'm uncertain whether he will awaken or not, but for the moment he poses no danger. Of course, we could always lop off his head now, just to be certain. That doesn't count. I saw... I saw Heavensfield, the movie. 
I saw that head come off. He just pops it right back on. I'm sorry, but even as I am now, my warrior's pride simply won't permit that. It just feels wrong to you. I, I can understand that. At any rate, we have left him out here to serve as your chair for the time being. Nah, it's, that's... don't know about that. So now what? There are fewer Resistance members now than ever. Only a few of them washed up here with us. Well, now that Master's woken up and all, how about we explore that palace thing? I mean, we gotta get out of here and all, and there could be even some kind of cool treasure inside. Treasure, eh? I like the sound of that. I certainly wouldn't f mind, uh, I wouldn't mind finding some sort of trinket that could turn the tide for us. Uh, why don't we ask Mash for a way out of here? Oh yes, I almost forgot to mention this. Unfortunately, it seems we've been temporarily cut off from Caldia, so we cannot ask them anything. Of course, I do not know if it's because we are underwater, or if it is something else. Regardless, I also believe we should explore this palace, Master. Standing around chit-chatting certainly won't get us anywhere. Good point. In that case... No need for that. Who? You? Who? Oomst? Wow, that was actually, like, very short for a no-battles thing. We got Archer, and we got Rider, huh? Okay, well... Let's grab ourselves... Hmm, I'm gonna bet you're gonna be a female. So I'm gonna bring you up. And then otherwise kill Archer, so we got these guys. Yeah, and then that'll work with you. Yeah, 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 that's the good stuff. Sounds good for me. Let's change you to a female. Do we have another female answer? Yes, we do. Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. Let's change this also. Uh, is there any, like, wouldn't it be better for me to, like, actually put on, like, this? Just, no, not that one. The other one, just for grinding. I gotta, I definitely gotta sell some of these cards, which I will be doing, because I want, um, selling and fusing, you know. Yeah, might as well put it on, because it's just extra stuff in the back, because I'm not going to use you, right? So, hmm. Okay, I think, I think we'll do that. I should actually try and get more of that, because that'll definitely help. We'll see. And yeah, let's let's put put on our outfit here. I've got up to level four. Okay, let's go. No need for that. Who's this? You. Ooh. Oh, hi Dehoot. Dehoot. She's alive? Uh, yeah, no body, no death. We only saw her get swept up in East. She must have gotten swept down here, like, just like us. Drifted here? No, I always knew about this place. This is another paradise of mine. It is my last bastion, something I kept on hand in case East was ever destroyed. I was planning to rest here when my injuries healed and my magical energy was replenished. I can help with that, ma'am. But then you came along. What are all you doing here? I've been waiting for what feels like an eternity. I wanted to take something so badly, but there was nothing here to take. Yes, that's right. I didn't lord over the dull, nightless city where its subjects suppress their desires, nor do I command the Amazons of Eldorado, a tribe so barbaric they wouldn't get self-denial if it jumped up and bit them. I was the beautiful ruler of East. I brought my people happiness by insisting that none deny herself. So why, why did I end up here like this? Uh, I think she's just a little off. Indeed, she appears rather distraught. You mean to take from me? No, that won't be happening. I'm the one who will be doing the taking. I will deny myself no longer. In fact, doing so would be wrong. That is, I believe, the key to happiness. So I will take your freedom, your dignity, your vitality, your hope. I will take you to bed. Oh, okay, sounds good to me. My head hurts. But I am a taker. That is how I should be. How any pirate should be. Man, woman, I don't care. I just want to take someone to bed. I have no need of pride or ambition. Nor do I need hope or purpose. I do not need bravery. I do not need courage. All I need is to take to plunder. So I refuse to wait any longer. I'm going to take you for myself. Soon you will all be mine. Looks like she's finally showing her true colors still. Yeah, she's nuts. If she's going to attack... We'll have to fight back. Give us your orders, Master. So considering we currently have 
Herc, Fergus, and um, not Drake here. I'm going to take a bet and say that something will happen here that will turn them back here. Because it just feels like there's something, something changed them, right? All right, well, we're going to definitely want to try and get... Um, because these guys don't have much HP, so let's go... Let's try and get both meter and stars, because well, we don't need too many stars right now, I guess. What matters more is the meter game, because we'll be getting enough stars <laughs> when we go on anyways. But let's, yeah, let's definitely try and get... Like, let's go... Like this. Gotta be smart about it. Okay. Definitely want to get Jack's meter up, because Jack can do... Jack can jack her up. You, you, you know? Okay. That's what I wanted. That should be enough for Parvati to give the meter to her now. So that should be good. But I kind of want to get a triple meter going. Like a triple noble phantasm. Ooh, a hydra, huh? Hmm, okay. Well, that's that's interesting. Um, We got some nice hundreds here. Hmm. We could... You know what? Yeah, let's go like this. Okay, you got that. We're going to give you quick card. Nope, that's on you. Whoops, I thought that was one that you give. Dang it. Okay, well, that's fine. Double up. Defense down. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go... Maria the Ripper. And then... Buster Elizabeth, and then more... More... More, uh, stars for you. Let's see how much you do. Yeah, that is, that is a whole break gauge right there. Dang, break gauges totally do not work that way, okay? That's fine. Oh, the, the Tamate Bako. Yeah, that's the, that's uh, the sacred item that makes you invincible from the Dragon Palace. I know this because of One Piece. Now, she is currently, um, unable to be hit because of that, and I don't think we have anything that can really do it unless you have... Remove buffs for an enemy? Get rid of that. Heck yeah. Heck, heck yeah. Um, this gives quick card effectiveness up. Yep, give that to you also. Because that'll help. Okay. Get, get as many stars as you can also, because we're going to need those. God, Jack is so good. Really? Uh, you can just... Okay. I was going to say, can you just spam the Tomate Bako? But no, no. It doesn't work that way. Um, okay, so let's go... Maria. Then... Let's get more stars, because that'll help with the last one, of course. Let's see, will this be enough to kill again? A lot less damage that time, because I wasn't all buffed up. Ooh! Also because of that, the, the green resist. Quick resist stuff, huh? Yeah, okay. Well, you made this battle specifically so she doesn't get hit by that, I guess. Um, Hydra there, that's not going to be good. I want... I want Jack to definitely survive, so I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm also going to pop up your max HP. There you go, and pop up your defense. Okay, well then let's instead just do this so that we can get as much meter as we can for the next one. Okay. That's going to suck. Oof. Ow. Okay, well. Let's go. 
Trishula, Battery, big numbers on your stars. Okay. Do the boy. Do the boy. Dang it. I love the boy. Oh, that's, uh. Oh, you can steal HP? That's not very Kino. Um, so you're gonna die real soon. That's not very cool. Um, well, let's focus on getting rid of you then. Okay. So close. Big intimidation. That's a noble phantasm, I guess. Okay, well. Let's get, um... Hmm, if we were to go... We'll probably kill you if we just go like a Buster Arts Arts here. We'll probably kill you. Yeah. Oh, no, really? I thought that was three hits. Oh, there we go. Alright, so now let's use um, your Noble Phantasm, Kiyohime. Do as much as you can. Okay. And we're gonna do your... Uh, nope, we want just this. Although, honestly, I could probably give you C stars too. Because that'll be useful. Yeah, because we want those 90s. So now we're gonna go like this. Just do some big damage. We still got two more Berserker, or rather, Lancers in the back. Sorry, I saw her and my mind went to Berserker, of course. Not a massive amount of damage, but a good good amount for sure. Single target, so I would assume so. Nice! That's what I wanted, though. Good job, team. And look, like, she looks like she fits the Dragon Palace perfectly. Like, just her entire aesthetic. Also, hey, two more Saint Quartz. Don't mind if I do. Was that a Gold Rider piece? I need silvers, though, for, for um, my dude. Okay, are you, are you dead now? That wound is fatal. Victory is ours. Huh? The hell's all this? I finally get this fog out of my head. Now everything's all weird. And what's with these clothes? Definitely not my kind of style. <laughs> uh, Drake? Huh? I feel like you and I have met before somewhere. Ah, <laughs> well, doesn't matter. I knew what I was getting into when I decided to be a pirate. If we lose a fight, we lose our treasure. That's how it works. I'd rather it was a treasure map that makes you jump through all sorts of hoops to find the booty. But it looks like I don't get a say in that. I guess I'm out of the Grand Adventure game for the time being. Here, it ain't much, but why don't you take this box with you? Hey, you were using this thingy while you fought, right? What's it do? Hell if I know. Just kind of had it on me. All I can tell you is that it's a treasure I found here. You ought to be able to find some more in that castle over there, since you managed to beat me. You get to use them how you see fit. Yay, someone's feeling generous. Well, I guess you were all about the whole take, take, take thing and didn't care much about what you already took, took, took. I guess it kind of makes sense you just give it all away. What are you talking about? I was just wasting the treasure I take as awesomely as I can. If I hadn't lost, I'd be blowing it all on booze and drinking every last drop. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this sucks. I only just got here and now I've got to go again. What are you... Are we not going to learn what happened? What was that? I don't know. Whatever she was, she's gone now. The big question is what's inside the box. Now let's see. Wait, I don't want to grow old. Yeah, we know the legend. Huh? 
It's all right. I was watching Dahoot use it, and I don't think opening it will cause any sudden aging. In fact, I believe this tomate bako might just be exactly what we need. Yeah. So in in myth, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it so I know, because I okay. I like how I type it in and I get the 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 exact one from One Piece. That's not what I want. Um, so it's the mysterious box in the tale of Urashima Taro. Um, he receives it from the mistress of the sea, Otohime, after his stay at the Dragon Palace. Um, it's, let's see here. So what does it do? Uh, because it says, it doesn't say. Cool. I know that it's meant to be like a mysterious gift that is very good, but if you open it, yeah, so rumors say that its contents involve the power to make one grow older or make one as strong as a thousand men. In One Piece, they had steroids in there. Also, we're just continuing with more not battle. Huh. Well, I have read many books. While I'm unsure of the details, I believe that I have an idea of what this place is. I believe you know it as well, Tanner. Urashima Taro, the Dragon Palace, Otohime, and the Tamate Bako. Of course, I read it in a picture book. Otohime, the princess of the Undersea Dragon Palace, invited Urashima Taro to her palace and gave him the Tamate Bako when he returned to land. But she told him not to open it. Then what's the point? Indeed, that would make no sense whatsoever. Therefore, I believe the correct interpretation is that it was not meant to be opened lightly. In other words, the tomate bako is most likely something that can only be used once. And so, when Urashima Taro returned to land and learned that far more time had passed than what he had experienced in the Dragon Palace, he opened the tomate bako in desperation and transformed into an old man, or so the story goes. However, I think that his sadness over how much older others had grown may have been the reason why he opened the box. That is to say, his transformation occurred because he wanted to reconcile the difference in time that passed for himself in the outside world. Oh my god, is it gonna be... Fergus is gonna open it and turn into his older self? Oh jeez. So basically, he wished to become old? Exactly, he wished for it. If you might permit me to make a bit of an intuitive leap. The Tomate Bako grants wishes. I believe they contain a massive, highly concentrated magical energy. Energy that can be used in any way the Wishmaker... Oh, so it's basically a Holy Grail. If Tamate Bako senses the wish of the one who opens it, then uses its vast magical energy as the fuel to create the desired phenomena. Oh, so you mean it's a holy grail. In essence, I believe you can think of them as a single use wish granter. Oh, so you mean like the holy grail. Mind you, a pre-filled holy grail, but a holy grail nonetheless. And like, like a real one, not a singularity one. Okay, so... Basically, they're not actual physical items, but super duper magical energy doodads that can be used for anything? Essentially, yes, though I imagine there are still limits on what they can do. Of course, if a mage or servant who could make full use of its magical energy were to open one, it would probably serve a function closer to Tanner's command spells than a wish granter. Oh, okay. You guys know, found a holy grail like that, too. Now I see, so Dahoot must have been using one simply to enhance her strength. In her case, that was likely the only option she had available. I imagine we could find any number of alternative uses for it. Ah, oh, nice! I bet we could all do some really cool stuff with it! Like, oh! Could we use it to power noble phantasms we can't normally use? We won't know until, unless we try, but I believe it would be worth the attempt. If it works, we may be able to safely employ techniques that we normally avoid using, so not to drain Master's magical energy. Still, too bad you can only use it once, though it does make sense. You can't expect to keep drinking liquor from the same bottle forever, after all. Given what Dehuda was saying, maybe there are more Tamate Bako to be found in that palace place. If they are single use, if we get several of them, they could be pretty useful, right? Looks like our luck is finally changing. Like I always say, you never know what might happen as long as you don't give up. Turns out my ship sinking wasn't a bad thing after all. Not that I'd want to go through it again, though. Foo foo! Hang on. I think I just got an idea as to how we can go about fighting back. Ah, what is it? Hmm. Scheherazade, you're a caster, right? Let me ask you this. You had the magical energy from one of these wish granter command spell things. Do you think you'd be able to put reins on this guy? Oh. 
I suppose that would depend on what form such a thing would take and how it might be used. I'm not talking about anything complicated, just something like a simple contract. As long as he'd start obeying a few simple commands, I would do. Attack, stop attacking, go forward, stay, that sort of thing. It'd be nice if you could get him to tell friend from foe, but if that's asking too much, so well. So you mean to use Megalos as a military asset for our side? If there's a chance we can use him, then we should. He's given us a real chance at victory. After all, our only other assets now are we servants and those men who were lucky enough to be washed up here with us. And there are precious few of us left. Ryder, I mean, uh, Mr. Columbus. We could never have come this far without you. We'll stick with you to the end. Besides, it's not like we have a home to go back to anymore. <laughs> well, we'll do whatever you say. Thank you, men. So how about it, Castor? If a simple command system would suffice, yes, I believe it's possible. It would not be without risk. And if we are to do this, we must hurry. He seems to be waking up, however slowly. In essence, it feels almost as if he is rebooting. Rebooting in commands, huh? <laughs> I mean... I mean, I know he's more like a kind of like a wild beast than a guy, but the idea of using a great hero like this as some sort of robo zombie thing just seems wrong to me. Of course, I kind of doubt we could just talk him over to our side. What do you say, Master? I, I think we need his power. He seems pretty strong. If that is what you decide, Master. We will accept it. Do be careful, Shehrazade. Sheher, Sheherazad, Sheherazad. It's one of those names that, like, once you say it a couple times, you're fine, but then you forget after a day, you know? It's okay, I trust her. Oh, oh, hang on there. Of course, there's going to be risks. But that's why I'll be the one to forge this con- Ah, uh, hmm. Worry levels rising. You don't want to see your master's body blown to bits if something goes wrong, right? Simple or not, whoever forces this contract is going to be magically... Mm. Hmm. I don't know about this, Chief. None of us really has any idea what that could do. If something happened to Master, all you servants contracted him would be gone too. But I'm just a rogue servant. This way, if anything happens, it'll affect me and me alone. Well, true, but... I don't want you blown to bits either, Columbus. Don't worry, I don't plan on it. I think I've got a pretty good chance of success. After all, I've always had good luck. I was lucky enough to get the money I needed for my voyage, lucky enough to actually cross the Atlantic, and lucky enough to make it back in one piece. If there's two things I'm confident about, it's my tenacity and my luck. Hell, they're all I've got. Now, come on, Scheherazade. We're running out of time. Very well. But stop if anything goes wrong, or don't, because he's absolutely going to betray us. Of course, I hope very much that nobody dies, especially me. Very well, then, I shall open this first to Matebako and begin the spell. Yeah, he's super, super, super gonna betray us. Like, absolutely. Like, it's undeniable at this point. Master Master, we found a lifeboat! I knew there had to be one around here. It's in some kind of bubble thing, but I think we still use my riding skill to, dra to pilot it. Aw, oh, well done. You deserve a candy. Yeah, wait, isn't that how you thanked me at the end that one time? Oh, well, it's still yummy. It makes sense that Dahoot would have at least one, and likely more, means of escape if she planned on using this palace as a hidden fortress. Now we should be able to return to the surface. I took a quick look around the castle, and I have great news. It's full of monsters. Dahoot must have released them to serve as guard dogs. Hoo -hoo! Uh, how's that great news? Really, I think this is much better than just looking around for more tomato bako. It'll keep things more interesting, if nothing else, and I should also, should also make for good training. I cannot fathom why someone would put themselves in such danger. You could end up dead. Anyway, these Tamari Baku are a precious resource. The more we can gather, the more help there'll be later. So I'd like to find as many as we can before we return to the surface. That is, assuming there are any left. Indeed. As to how long we spend searching this place for Tamari Baku and when we depart for the surface, well, that I leave for Master to decide. No matter when we return, please do keep this in mind. Once we return... That's right. Once we return, that's when uh, my men... That's when we men who don't know when to give up strike back. Are you on our side now? I hope so. For now, I guess. Oh, God. Anyway, St. Quartz get. And... 
wine get? Oh. Really? We're just heading there? Okay, decisive battle in El Dorado, I guess. Okay. Huh. There's only two. Okay. Wow, that is gold. Your Majesty, are you alright? Are you feeling ill? That smell. The smell of Achilles. That something's not right. It's too potent. Where is it coming from? I want the actual Achilles to appear and just be like, Hey, what's up? I'm Achilles. Okie dokie, this is our stop. Up we go! Wow, we just took it all the way here. All right. Perfect positioning. Now take us ashore. We'll charge in fast as we can, just as soon as we disembark. Look, the golden heart of El Dorado is right in front of us. Haha, <laughs> we've got him by the throat now. Mr. Master? Can you hear me, Master? Please come in. Ah, uh, it sounds like my trusty Kohai. This is your trusty Kohai, Master. It's me, Mash Curialite. Oh, thank goodness. Foo! I'm so glad you're all right, Master. You too, Foo. We have been trying to reach you all this time. It looks like our connection's finally fixed. It's just as I told you, Miss Curialite. Those technical difficulties were merely temporary. There was no cause for concern. Holmes, you're there too? Yes, well, I was planning on relaxing with my pipe in my quarters. But when one told one is told that Master's in danger and that all of Kalia's resources must be mustered to resolve the situation post-haste, and that one would be a heartless beast if one were to refuse assistance in the time of crisis, one tends to feel obliged to comply. Though I was adamant from the start that they were making a big to-do of nothing, and there was never any issue with your vital signs, at this moment, my only conclusion is that she cares for you a great deal. We have been down in the Dragon Palace all this time. Our connection must have been re-established once we emerged from the water. The Dragon Palace? I have so many questions, but for now... Yes, let's start with that big fellow who appears to have joined your side. I'm impressed. How did you pull that off? I don't speak Berserker. <laughs> well... I hope Da Vinci's like, you do realize it's a terrible idea having him be the one in control in case, okay. The Dragon Palace and the Tamate Bako. So that's what you discovered while you, we were out of contact. And this is all Columbus's idea. She has, she knows. She gets it. I agree. It, it, mash too. Yes, Master, it's fine. There's nothing we can do about it at this point. Oh my god, she totally knows. An entire world miles beneath the ground, eh? Sounds like something out of a Jules Verne novel. I'm pretty sure Journey to the Center of the Earth is a Jules Verne novel. As something of an explorer of myself, the idea certainly piques my interest. And it would hardly be sporting of me to haggle over my fee if I were to leave at if I were to leave after merely confirming that communications were back online. So I think I shall continue to listen to this tale of an underground world for the time being. Worry not, I won't do anything out of turn to help bring about this tale's conclusion. Though I may venture an opinion if I start to feel bored. Okay, enough talk. We need to hurry if we're going to take out the Amazon Queen once and for all. I really wonder if the writer got to this point and was told, Oh yeah, we also have Sherlock Holmes you can use. He's in Caldy now. It's like, okay, put him in the story now. All right. Come on, let's get inside and put the plan into motion before the other Amazons get here. Boy, you're really rushing it. All right, then please tell us the plan on the way. We'll help you out as much as we can. Indeed, it'd be better... I'd better tell you what I can while we still have the chance. Hmm. Big, big worries. Wow, we're just walking on in. Yeah, no, they change... Immediately, you can tell he's gonna... Just the his swagger here is like, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Hey there, Queenie. We're back. Achilles, you dare show yourself before me once again? I have not forgotten what you did to me. Only your death will set right the humiliation I suffered at your hands in Troy. So I will kill you myself. As I was before I ever joined... As I was bef... What? I will kill you myself as I was before I ever joined that accursed... 
very confusing. <clears throat> How odd. I've never seen her keep her cool in front of Megalos like this. Maybe he's got something to do with the contract keeping his bloodlust in check. Well, she's still not making a whole lot of sense. Nope. There's no telling when she might go berserk. We must remain vigilant. She may appear as a young girl, but she's in fact a highly skilled warrior. Appear as a young girl? <laughs> well said, Achilles. That, that is why I now will be the one to kill you. It sounds like she thinks everyone is Achilles now. She doesn't even find it strange that she's seeing more than one of him. If I'm right about that, then she's completely lost her mind. Achilles, I know why, you, why you're here. You mean to kill my subordinates again, don't you? You shall not have that chance. This time, victory shall be ours. Listen once more to this fearsome war cry. The war cry that caused the Achaeans to throw down their swords and beg for their lives in terror. That's still the worst noise ever. Still the worst sound ever. Oh god, it's happening more. Please, ma'am, stop. Please. His voice... I can still hear them even from this distance. It's just like before, the war cry that causes ordinary Amazons to go berserk. Yes, rage, my children. Let that rage pour out of you. That is the key to awakening our divine blood. The blood of our father Ares. Oh? Okay. You cannot win this time, Achilles. You will die by my hand. That is not all. During the Battle of Troy, I had but 12 warriors at my side. But now my warriors of Eldorado number no less than 100 times that. You are hopelessly outmatched in every way. I knew it, that sort of nation they're trying to create is like a single organism where the mightiest stand on top and all others follow their leader unquestionably. What a horrible opponent. Hey, don't stop now. We expected this to happen. We've got no choice but to stick with the plan. All right, sorry. Didn't mean to stand around getting all googly-eyed over this. I do have some concerns about leaving the rest uh, the rest of you here, but I suppose there's nothing to be done. Fergus, Shirazade, Master. We shall return as soon as we have concluded our business, so do be careful. Okay, you too. Okay, bye for now. Not a care in the world between them, huh? Ah, uh, well, it's just like them. Well, one of them at least. I was amazed when I heard that they volunteered for this. But I can practically hear the determination behind the happy front, even just over this transmission. I have no doubt that they'll see their task through to the end. So let's trust them and do our best. Uh, let's trust them and do our best to do what we need to get done here, Master. I, I'm falling apart, guys. I'm sorry. Something about this, the, the writing here, is is absolutely just ending me. And I can't tell what it is. I can't believe it. I could never do such a thing. I'd be far too scared of dying. Do those two truly mean to hold back so many Amazons all on their own? Well, no. I'm going to hold them back with the power of foreigner servants because I need them. Right? Like, look at this. Okay. Yep. Foreigner. I'm going to go to my kill berserker team. Which is these guys. This is this is good. Right? Yeah, this is real good. I'm gonna switch this out though to Um I, someone's already equipping aerial drive. You are, okay. So instead let's give you Let's see here. Guts and critical strength. Arts and Buster. Picard. Could do this. Just to go Buckham Wild on the first couple rounds. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna switch you out. Doesn't make much sense for you to be there. Um, let's go with uh yeah, you, because then we'll have you two at the front. And then we'll take on Yeah, we'll do as much damage as we can with you two. And then you two will come up to do the rest. Okay. Sounds good. Let's go! That's a lot of yelling. Yep. This is gonna suck. Be that as it may, somebody has to hold the Amazons at bay. 
or the others will have no chance to defeat Penthesilia. Even with Megalos on their side, they'd be overwhelmed in terms of sheer numbers. Yeah, I know, but... Are you sure you're good with this, Knight of the White Lily? Usually when people ask me to do stuff, it's a little light-hearted stuff, you know, like, please, I'm in trouble and I need your help. Not so much the super serious head-to-head -head life or death battle thing, so uh, really, I'm, I'm fine with this. But this kind of isn't your thing. You're all about using your sword to protect Master, right? Indeed, but at this moment, I happen to be the right person in the right place. Besides... Huh? I may never get another good chance to say this, so I will say it now. Astolfo, you are one of the Twelve Paladins of Charlemagne, a hero to the Kingdom of the Franks. Tales of your exploits lulled me to sleep as a child. If not for you and the other Paladins, the Kingdom of France might not have existed, and none of us would have ever been born. You Paladins paved the way for the other Knights of France who followed in your footsteps. In a way, you were the exemplar for all we wished to be. You really think so? <laughs> and now that I stand by your side facing down an army of hundreds, it truly feels as though I have become a part of one of those stories myself. Oh, that's this is a nice moment! It may be immodest of me to say so under these circumstances, but if I may be frank, I'm positively overflowing with excitement. <laughs> immodest, huh? This <laughs> sounds great to me! Well, speaking as your great exemplar, who may not be the sharpest bulb in the toolbox, I'll say that it's fine to enjoy yourself whenever you can. Uh, so how about we get going? Just the two of us in one big audience, let's give them one hell of a show! Indeed. Now's the time to open the Tamatebako, our wish to make use of our secret noble phantasms. Oh? Are they ascending? Oh, nope. Ah, so much shouting. It's too bad they don't use a battle song, especially one on par with the Red Saber or the Dragon Maiden. If they had a song as destructive as that, I might have been able to play along. I was gonna say, can you toot your horn? Big Tootie? I got this magical instrument from Logistilla, a witch I know. Normally I can't use it, but with this much magical energy, I can get in at least one good shot. Hope you all enjoyed as much as those food-stealing harpies did. Alright then, time to go big or go home. La Black Luna. That's the Black Moon. So incredibly loud, if I had prepared myself, I shudder to think of what might have happened to me. Uh, I blew a lot of them away. Now let's see. Uh huh. What? What happened to our war cry? Ah, shoot, I was hoping that'd be enough to scare them all off. Well, it may not have set them to running, but it does seem to have neutralized the. War oh, you literally, like, did the. the wave canceling out. Sounds good, alright. Their berserk state seems to have faltered in consequence. Well done. Now it seems that I am up next. Never mind the war cry, we're only up against two opponents. Let us show them our fury. You show us, I'm afraid you're mistaken. You're the ones who'll be enjoying the show. You are about to witness the bloom of a great lily on this very battlefield. This white lily is the knighthood to which I have dedicated my life. Its petals are truth and radiance. The tip of my dancing blade shall accompany it. Tear your eyes from this duet if you can. Ordinarily, I would not perform this for an audience of more than 50, but today is special. Today, blade and flower shall dance as long as you wish. Today, this flower will steal the hearts of no less than 1,000 spectators. This, my ultimate technique, would normally require all of my magical energy, but for now I have something to provide me with all that I need. Thus, I have no compunction about using it, allowing it to bloom. Long live the Order of the White Lily. Fleur de Lis! Huh? Pretty flower. Now, this is ridiculous. We will not be... The stage is set. I believe it's time for our finale, Astolfo. Yep, all it's left to do now is take down a thousand Amazons. Okay, sounds good. You guys enjoy that. You go Muso. What is this? Why do my soldiers not come to my side? Now's our chance. Foo! This is it, Penthesilia. It all ends now. Indeed, Achilles. Soon you will die by my hand. This will not be like our last battle. I will not permit you to speak to me as though you did back then. I am not without mercy, though I will allow you to meet your death in whatever manner you see fit. Will you face me overcome with fear? Or you may do so, for I am generous. Will you cry to your allies for aid? You may do so, for I am generous. Will you soil yourself and throw down your sphere? You may do so, for I am generous. Will you beg pitifully for your life? You may- oh my god, yes. Whatever you choose, I shall kill you here and now. That will not much change. You hear that? She means to kill us. 
And who do you think she's going to start with? My guess is that she'll go straight for you. Megalos, you're up. Your enemy is the queen of the Amazons before you. That voice, Achilles, that's the voice I will never permit to speak such... Tr he, I mean, he didn't speak much, so... I still remember it all too clearly. I fought with all I had in our duel, only to have you slay me. And then as I lay dying, you called me beautiful. How dare you! Oh, you're mad. Penthesilia has gone berserk again. It appears to be res she appears to be responding to Megalos as he gears up for battle. I knew this was coming. All of her stats are skyrocketing. She's getting far more dangerous. Fortunately, you at least won't have to worry about her having support from the other Amazons. It's time to put an end to this, Master. Okay. We will. Huh. Yeah. I'm gonna say it. I'm finding the ending. Like, I was fine with the beginning of this. Um. The beginning of this. I'm not feeling the ending. Definitely not. It's just very. It's just very, I don't want to say predictable, but it's just, it's going in a, I don't know, just not doing anything for me. Wow. Okay. Just singly targeting mash. So let's use this to get you some more meter. Um, yeah, it's, I, I don't know. It's definitely, yeah, like, uh, when people say it's, you know, the weakest, I can see that. Wow, really? Okay, so now let's go. I still want to get as much meter as I can. Well, you can get yours up, so let's go like this to get you some, because then we can get yours buffed with your uh, thing there. Is that going to be enough? Nope. Well, that's fine, because we can also give it through the, um... Through the oh I don't know if I have it on though the one that gives meter let's see here I don't okay that's fine uh, instead let's focus on a defense up then and let's go like this okay you got enough mash will you get enough let's see probably will Nice. Okay, so if we just uh, debuff immune charge gain, okay. I don't think any of these debuff, so that's fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, and we're gonna go. Yeah. And you'll get back a ton of meter if we do this, so let's do this for sure. Alright. Pop that on down. God, how many attack ups do we have? Look at all of them. There's nothing better than just seeing just ton of, like, buffs. It's so good. Okay, so that did. That did that much. You'll definitely do 183, right? Let's see here. 500%. I mean, it's not good. that doesn't make damage go more, but it means we'll probably get full meter back for another one right away. So close. Nope, 50%. Okay. Well, really? Really now? Okay. Just love giving yourself meter, huh? I'm pretty certain yours is single target, so we'll let you do that. Have you do your full combo here. Okay. Have you seen this yet? Wow, I've not seen that. That is, that is brutal. That's kind of sick. Okay, get you all your stuff. You got that break. Got 
some meter. Got a little bit of a heal. Okay, so let's see. Are we gonna... Are we... Is this the battle against her? Oh, it looks like it is. Now that defense down is gonna be quite nice. Okay. Um... Gain stars, because I see that on our saber there. It's like we can go like... Uh, let's do this to get you more meter again. Be nice to have. Okay. Boom. Wow, you just love to spam that, huh? Okay. Defense up for everyone. Definitely want to keep putting that on as much as we can. Let's now go... Another full combo with you, because it's, it's nice to have. I wonder if she'll decrease her defense and up her attack again. Wow! Okay, well, at least you're, you're, you're not using it till now. Um, I don't even care if she kills one of these people at this point. I guess if there's one I'd want to survive, it would probably be, honestly, Saber at this point, because then we're going to evade with you just in case. Because uh, we can get you have a lot of meter. And then you can pop your Noble Phantasm, which would be quite useful. Please attack Saber Altar. That'd be for the best. Wow, you get mad. Okay. Ripperoni Mesh. Oh, well, they're both dead now. Alright, that's fine. Hey, I think it's time for double... Doubled up, uh, foreigners, though. That'll be quite nice. Okay, so, let's do... Uh, do I want to do a full combo with her, or... Hmm... Let's... I think I'd almost rather just do a regular combo with her, because she still has the evade on. Let's pop this. Give some stars to her. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's try and do fear and H. Oh, cool. Oh, right. Debuff immune. Right. Whoops. Um, okay. Well, at least we got rid of one debuff immune. Forgot about that. There we go. Yeah, we got that. So we'll save that meter for the next one. Are you going to get even matter? Yep. Okay, good. We can pop this. We can pop this. We can go... Excalibur. And then let's go... Try and get your meter, because that'll do a lot of good stuff. Oh, wow. Those defense down sure helped. If that crit, we would have won. Well, we got this. Goodbye. Unless you have a secret, secret health bar. They don't do that. The game is pretty honest with the health bars. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, we got another one of those missions done. And I'm sure by the end we'll defeat one more servant for sure. Curse you! Once again, you would tear off my helmet after my defeat and call me beautiful? You dare speak those words to a vanished, a vanquished opponent, a warrior who fought with all her might? I mean, that's not a bad thing. I do not mind dying. I do not even mind losing. It means nothing more than that I was not strong enough to claim victory. But in you... If you too had risked your life in your bat in our battle, that is not what you say of your opponent. 
If you had truly fought desperately, you would have been re relieved to be alive, flushed with the thrill of victory, and later with the joy of a piercing, a powerful foe with your spear. At the very least, that is what I would have felt in your place, but you, you were different, Achilles, that you thought to say such thing to my face, the one that moments ago might have been the very face of your doom. Yeah, he's just a playboy, that's literally who he is. That rather than relief at your survival or elation with your victory, such nonsense was the first thought to cross your mind. It means you never even saw me as a warrior, the very opponent you had been fighting mere moments before. You will pay, you will pay for the humiliation with your life. I even took the form of my younger self so that, even should I use, you would never think to speak such drivel to me. Oh no, he would still. Now I see, so that's what she meant by the first time we met her. She chose this immature form her child uh, from her childhood to avoid hearing the same thing again. I mean, he still would. He'd still call you pretty, at least, because he seems like the type to do that. I can still fight. I can still stand. Just you wait, Achilles. Uh, open your eyes, Penthesilia. Hmm. You're Heracles. What's the meaning of this? It looks like she's seeing things clearly now. Indeed, but this changes nothing. Like Achilles, you Greek heroes are our sworn enemy. Heracles, you stole my older sister Hippolyta's girdle, threw our nation into chaos, and killed her. I shall kill you one day as well. Then there is Theseus, who abducted my younger sister and made her his wife. Made him, made her his wife. Yep, you cowards, I swear, I shall kill you all one day. And yet it seems that once again I can do nothing but curse your names. Very well then, if that is all I can do, then I curse you. I curse all Greek heroes. The Amazons and the Goddess of Fate will avenge me. I curse you. The Goddess of Fate? You mean my wife, Saber? Ha <laughs> ha. Penthesilia's disappeared. Confirmed. But the Demon God Pillar isn't there either. The battle is not over yet, then. Looks that way. But it will be soon. No, it won't. Did you think I would drop my guards because my our battle was over? I would never do that. Young though I may be, I'd never betray the trust they placed in me. On the subject of trust, I should mention, I mistrusted you from the very start. But I'll be damned. I never detected a hint of suspicion from you, but you went and deflected that shot like it was nothing. Pity. If only I could have blown Master's head off there, this would have been all wrapped up nice and neat. What a shame, and here I thought we were on the same boat together. You were, but I told them to keep an eye on you before you entered the temple. Christopher Columbus, a world-famous voyager, but also a slave trader and a mass murderer. Thank you for calling it out. Thank you for calling it out. As one of the conquistadors, there was no way your alignment could be anything but evil. Oh, dang, it's calling him out. That said, nobody there suspected anything until I told them about you. Fergus, of course, accepted it right away, but it didn't take much to convince Deon or Astolfo. You must be joking. I got feelings too, you know. Guess the joke's on me for thinking you goody-goodies wouldn't figure me out as long as I kept quiet. Still a mass murderer, huh? Is that really how history came to see me? There's the face! I knew. So, I... <laughs> I kind of had it spoiled because of the, the, the previous event, but people were like, the faces, the faces are incredible. All I ever did was try to make my dream come true! Uh... Yep, there we go. We, we, we knew. We, we, we done been new. Because it's so obvious. So, I'm a bit disappointed they did the same plot twice, you know? King of Slaves? Okay. Well, um, I'm just gonna do a check. So that, because this is... This is chapter 14. I'm just gonna check a count of how many chapters there are. Um, this is Agartha main quest. I'm just gonna check, check the number. There are 16, alright, yep, so then that means there's not enough for me to complete it today. So that's alright guys, I will see you next time for the conclusion of Agartha, which yeah, it's, it's going kind of how we all expected. I'll see you guys next time for that. Ciao.